Ruben Lenton and Aaron Hadlow, the most extreme kite surfer on the planet and the multiple kite surf world champion. Join them on their trip around the globe, on the best beaches, at the hottest events and the most exciting locations. A video diary chock full of action and incredible stories. The boys are on the loose. When are they going to get to the point? My concern was that because you've had multiple, you may have sustained a cartilage injury within your ankle. Okay? And unfortunately, the MRI scan confirms that you have exactly that. Now, the bad news is this is going to be, this is going to require surgery. No. And you're going to be off your feet on crutches for probably six to eight weeks. No. And it's going to be up to four months before you're back on your board. Oh. So 2009 wasn't my year for sure, already at the beginning of that year my heart wasn't in it and for sure I had my goals changing so 2010 probably going to take a break from, from competing you know I've been doing it for like seven seasons now for sure it's time to take a break and, and focus on some other things. Ruben in rehab, that means that Aaron has to travel alone in search of new perspectives. If there were a perfect place for this kind of search then it would be in the middle of the Caribbean, the Dominican Republic. Aaron's going to visit his old kiting friend, Susie May. So yeah, we're just uh, rocking up at Susie's place. Uh, it's where they're building all the sliders, so we're going to check it out, see how it's going, see his building if anyone's there. Good little spot here, it's just in town, but set back, nice pool, pretty chilled. Morning, Susie. Hi, I'm Susie May. I'm originally from Munich, but now I live here in the Dominican Republic. I met Ruben and Aaron on tour on the PKRA about nine or ten years ago at the very beginning of all of our kiteboarding lives. We were all pretty young back then, let loose upon the world, no parents, no rules. We would meet at all the different competitions and so we became really good friends that way because you can't really keep in touch with anybody except the people you're on tour with. It is so hot today, we've been building. At the beginning, it took a little bit of getting used to because the people, the climate, and everything's so different. But now I really love it and never want to leave. It's perfect for kiting, and the only thing that we were really missing was a real rail. It's always hard to Make, make it work from just an idea, but I got the right crew together. I called up Aaron, and yeah, everybody seemed pretty keen on the idea, so, you know, before we knew it, we had a little bit of budget and materials, and we built our rail. Pretty sweet, a little up ramp. It's cool, it's like a 45 degree, so it's like a sort of a semi wall ride thing and also the main bit. Pipes have been fun, there's so many pipes because they're really small. It looks pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, it's pretty fun just drilling, screwing, bit of a team just speeding them on there really. And be careful with the swan. Susie lives in Cabaretti. The spot where we're going to put the sliders is just a few kilometres down the road. We'll do the finishing touches on it there. Drilling and sawing under palm trees, not a bad working environment down here. Alright, yeah, so it's uh, the first day of wind since we've been here, we've been here a few days and been pretty uh, disappointed really, it's been a lot of rain, storms and it's a tropical place so that happens now and again, but uh, yeah, today's the day, we finished the slider, it's all built, ready to go and uh, it looks like a typical day in, uh, in Cabaretti, so I think we're going to get some wind later and then we're going to go ride. It's good to have the water under my feet again, it's all a part of it, but riding the slider is definitely more fun than putting it together, these guys are good. And Susie is our own little slider queen. Aaron, 
I guess, got really unlucky because one of the pipes cracked and it wedged into his binding and kind of cut open his toe. And I mean, these things are razor sharp when, when they crack, that they're like little knives. And so I had to take Aaron into the hospital and get it stitched up, but luckily it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as it looked at the beginning. At the end, I just managed to uh, break one of the pipes. I caught an edge into the pipe and just shattered the thing, and my toe got caught, so I've got a bit of a bad toe now. I had to get a couple of stitches in the hospital. That was a bit of a deal. It ended the session pretty quick, but today, back on the water. The Dominican doctor did a good job. The accident was only three days ago, but the cut has already healed well enough. I think I'll give the rail another chance today. This thing is sick, just the right kind of rail to practice some new moves. This kind of stuff has been getting more and more fun for me lately. Maybe I've just been looking for a new challenge. I could leave out the normal World Cups and do the specialty events next season. That would accompany my other plans perfectly. I'm going to improve my riding on the rails. It almost sounds like Aaron has found his real calling. And Ruben? He's back home in Holland at the moment. This is his house in Nordvik, on the North Sea, where Ruben lives with his parents. You wanna see my room? Let's go. There it is. Got the fabulous love swing. You extend your uh, moves, that's good. Uh -huh. Not too bad. Wee -wee. I love that thing. But let's see what Aaron has been up to. It's making me a little bit jealous to be sitting here in Holland, in the cold, and having to look at pictures from the Caribbean. Oh well, the main thing is that the guys are having fun, and I'll be fit and super motivated soon to rock it with them again. Alright, so I got all my stuff for the gym. There we go, got everything. We got a good personal trainer, Ivo. I met him last week. And uh, he's helping me with, with the recovery of my ankle. So that's sweet. Let's beam this shit up. Hi, Ruben. How you doing? All good? Yeah. Good? Nice. So are, you, uh, are you uh, prepared for uh, hard training? Well, last time I was prepared, well, I thought, and then I started puking. Yes. But uh, today I think I'm ready. Are we doing the legs today? We're going to do legs and shoulders. Right. Yeah. That's yes? Perfect. OK, let's see. 40 minutes. 14 minutes? I'm going to die, man. That's a good warming up. I've been uh, training uh, Marines who have injuries, uh, back injuries, knee injuries, uh, ankle injuries. So I, I know uh, how to get them back in shape. And uh, most of them are uh, fitter when I've trained them than when they were uh, uh, a fit Marine. Get more extreme than it already is. This is hell. And Eva over there, he's just looking at me. I'm almost a little bit scared of him now, after hearing that he used to work with the Marines. It's Monday, so after the weekend, it's always a bit harder. But then tomorrow, he's going to pick me up at 9 o'clock in the morning, and then we're going to do outdoor training, which is like twice as hard. I really want to get 110% fit again, so I can let all my energy go in riding hard again. I'm planning on doing some six tons this year, so I will need to keep strong. But before Ruben makes his comeback on the water, he and Aaron want to try something new, on the snow in Norway. 
Aaron is flying in directly from the Dominican Republic. The landscape is quite flat, like the little loads of little hills and just loads of snow, everything's frozen. But yeah, it's a totally new experience for me, so you know, just take it as it comes. Ruben and I have been invited to the Red Bull Ragnarok, one of the biggest snow kite events in the world. That's right, snow kiting. Neither of us have ever mixed our kiting skills with the snow. This is going to be fun. And is about four hours away from here. But now we're going to spend the day in Oslo to get used to the climate. My first impression, it's a beautiful old town, but it's bloody freezing out here. Hey, Norway is not the warmest place, huh? I help myself from laughing a little bit. Crazy. Hey, it's Susie again. It's cold as hell here, but somebody's got to look after these guys so far away from the beach, right? Yeah, it's some funny positions going down. He must be a strong dude. How are you ever going to hold that up? Look at Aaron. <laughs> oh, in the, in the washing machine. <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. <laughs> The Norwegians seem pretty crazy and fun. We've just been invited to watch them practice their national sport. We're going to watch them curling at the ice rink. Have you ever been to a place like this? No, not a chance. I haven't even been ice skating before. About an hour late, maybe. Aren't those trousers great? They're part of the national curling squad's uniform, and he took silver in the Olympics. The rules are supposed to be pretty simple. You've got to slide your stones into the middle of the circle and knock the opponent's stones out of play. That seems easy. <laughs> this is slippery. <laughs> I might have went a little bit too hard. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> In the next episode of On The Loose. Can't feel my hands anymore. <laughs> Should be in board shorts on a nice sunny beach. Ruben and Aaron are in Norway in the snow. It's a first for them. Will Ruben's ankles stand the test? Can Aaron refine his tricks on this unfamiliar surface?